keep on wishing baby some people be asking me like oh what is my workout routine or you know how do i stay like this Close your eyes and gently bow your head. But I feel like this is a little cute little vibe. Okay, with a little top. Watch your YouTube video. Oh my God, thank you so much. I love your everything. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Yoga outfit is on. About to do some yoga, baby. You wanna and a, uh, uh, keep on wishing, baby. You wanna mm, mm, keep on wishing, baby. You wanna mm, mm, keep on wishing, baby. Mm, keep on wishing, baby. Relax your shoulders. Maybe now you haven't already closed your eyes because you like the fingertips on the head. And exhale, bring the fingertips down. Let it be a little hang. Hold it forward. Let me hear yes. I don't know. Then bring the fingertips to the mat and step the right foot back to the right foot. Inhale, look forward. Bring these bent. Exhale, slowly bring the right foot to the right. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, send the fingertips to the left. Inhale, inhale, left fingertips reach up towards the side as you maybe lift the right knee and also see more. Come here to twist. Breathe in. Good. Inhale, big knee, shoulder overhead, go to the fingertips. And next, honey, working to keep the foundation here strong, so pressing into both palms evenly. Come reverse the circle, establish or reestablish that connection to your abdominal wall. Three, and your line circle with the knee. And reverse it. Elbow to the outer edge, go to the left side. Breathe here. Bring that left yep. down. I'm going to bend in the knee, in the back knee, excuse me, and then start all the way down. Breathe. And then inhale, breathe into the belly. Feel the lungs expand, the ribcage grow wide as you breathe in, and exhale, high lunge. Inhale, exhale, hips up high and back, downward facing dog. Oh, one more cycle of breath, listening to the sound of the breathing. Make sure you're going to kindness for yourself, no judgment. Continue to all the way up and over to the right, keep the heart lifted, see you twist. Close your eyes and gently bow your head. We are now done with yoga. As you guys can see, Dasha here, she likes to join me <laughs> big way through or when it end when I'm like laying down she likes to sit on my chest which is good to feel her new energy too thank you mind I forgot to show y'all what my breakfast looks like when it's pretty or actually not even my breakfast because it is 105 but yeah this is my first meal of the day I had a late start today and yeah so after yoga this is what I like to eat eggs salt and pepper and like that like Rajan Cajun salt pepper looking stuff bread butter jelly and I'm almost done and I'm about to get dressed so I just had breakfast and now I'm feeling fatigued and just a little queasy all in all it's just the first day if you're a guy lucky you or if you just don't have menstruals like lucky you I hate you <laughs> literally every time comment down below like when you get your period you get periods like do you, are you so envious of like people who don't like i'm so envious of like people with penises because like you don't have to go through this you know it's so oh shit sure, you know, so yeah. it's so just it's just a lot it's a lot it's too big on me i fit so yeah these are the vibes for getting your nails done i have to buckle my shoes but yeah, cute, comfy, cool, um, warm, because you know, sometimes they be having an AC blasting, and I hate that part. MM6, little tote bag, got my book in here, I'm about to put my headphones in here, and this is what your girl finna be looking like in these streets. I know people gonna be like, she hot as hell, so. Don't do these. Don't buy these. It is addictive. It has nicotine, at least get one without nicotine because my coworker be smoking these and then she let me hit it and then I'm like, oh, can I hit it again? And then all of a sudden I got my own now. This is my second one and it is disruptive to my body. I know it is, and but I'm addicted. I'm addicted, addicted, addicted. <laughs> um, no, but all jokes aside, don't, don't do these y'all, for real, for real. Um, this is my last one. Actually, I need to just throw this mug in the garbage because I don't know. It's just like I've seen a change in my body in obviously a bad way since I started using these. Comment down below if you can share your experience with using these, but I know that they're not healthy. Making my way downtown, walking fast, on your ass, and I'm home at, and I'm nail bound. <laughs> it's actually not that bad out. It's like hot, but it's not as hot as it was yesterday. Yesterday, y'all man comment down below what has the weather been like for y'all summer 
wherever y'all living at because in New York, baby, it hasn't been this hot since I first moved here. When I first moved here, it was like just as hot, like 100 degree days, like 90s for, you know, weeks at a time. <sighs> like yesterday, it was like insane. Um, and I sure enough had on my little linen set, linen set, because it was breathable and it was cute for that, but, whoo, child. This what they ain't playing with you. Ooh, look at her, with her little pink, her little set. She's so cute, she's so cute. I love that little mom, little tail far. See, if I was a thick girl, I would wear something like that. It's a beautiful day nonetheless. Whenever it's like super hot, I like to think like, remember when it was winter time and it was so damn cold and I was thinking about like, man, I can't wait for it to be so damn hot. And now it's so damn hot. <laughs> this is high maintenance and then this is a clear pink. This is what it looks like. <laughs> Y'all, I was just thinking, it is so many smoke shops in Harlem. But see, you got a smoke shop, right? Then you got a paint and puff. <laughs> right across the street. That man complexion is so beautiful. Damn, look at his complexion. Mm, mm, mm. Also, y'all know what's crazy? I feel like I didn't know. I did know. Because some of you guys reach out to me and be like, oh, you, you know, with y'all nice messages and stuff. And it always warms my heart. But still, I be thinking like, people don't be watching me like that. But it's so crazy, y'all. I get stopped like once a week of somebody being like, I watch you on YouTube. And I'm like always so amazed and just like, it really keeps me going when you guys stop me in the streets and do that. Cause I'm like, damn, like I can't believe I'm making it somewhat of an impact um, or inspiring people, which is what I set out to do with my YouTube channel. So anyway, I say this to say, if you ever see me in public, please say hi, please y'all, please. If you ever see me, say hi. I love seeing y'all in public and put in, they just the names. That's why when I see y'all in public, I'm like, what's your name? Because sometimes y'all comment and stuff like that. So, yes. It warms my heart. It warms my heart. Especially, too, because I would do the same thing. Like, if I ever see people that I watch on YouTube, I'm going to be like, yo, I love you. Like, if I ever see, I don't know if y'all know Bitty Smalls. I think her name, yeah. Wait. Breakfast with Bitty. I think Bitty Smalls is her Instagram, but Breakfast with Bitty. Y'all, I don't even, y'all know, I don't wear weave. I don't even wear weave. And all this lady do, she posts videos about like, like her hair videos, but I'm here for her, mostly her vlogs. I love her vlogs. She's a mom, she lives in New York. She's from Harlem. And it's just something about the way she carries herself that is just so beautiful to me. And it's so carefree. And she's also a cancer too, I'm a cancer. And it's just, especially when she starts talking about like her sign and stuff, I'm always like, yes, yes, yes. Are you Sierra Walker? Parker. Parker, sorry. <laughs> I watch your YouTube video. Oh my God, thank you so much. I love your everything. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Like, yeah. That's crazy, I just got that on camera. Like, that's what I mean. Like, I swear to God, this happens to me like once a week and I'm just like, this is wild. Cause I don't be getting thousands of views. Like, <laughs> crazy. But yeah, Biddy Smalls, Breakfast with Biddy, she is everything. I think I'm about to get a shot of espresso. I need like a pick me up or, you know. I'm just sitting down, y'all. I'm going through it. Cramps on 5,000 right now. <laughs> is what I got from Starbucks. Double shot of espresso with a splash of almond milk. And shout out to the person that made this drink because they literally brought the almond milk over and was like, sis, what do you mean by splash? And they poured it in here and I'm like, perfect. But yeah, this is what's hopefully gonna get me through y'all. So I had popped into this little glasses place because I have been eyeing these Cartier glasses for a good little minute. These too big for my face. These was doing too much with the black. But these babies right here, y'all. These is the ones that I got on my wish list. I just love the shape of them. I love the little curve on the side. The little They just everything. Everything. Something I wanted to talk about. Because some people be asking me like, oh, what is my workout routine? Or, you know, how do I stay like this? And I guess I do have like a fit bill, but... Short answer is mostly like genetics because I feel like I work out but like sometimes I'll take like a week or two off and then get back into 
being consistent with it like doing yoga and then i'd like to do like a hit workout in the afternoon so yoga in the morning hit workout in the afternoon and i try to eat like a lot of calories in a day most people on my dad's side of the family are just naturally thin or not naturally thin but are just genetically just like a thin build or slim build yeah i don't think that my build is like the ideal build either i think that people think that my body is like so nice because of what they see you know and what society tells them is a good body but yeah i want to gain some weight y'all i want to booty me booty me okay I, that's my dream things that i didn't find beautiful about myself for instance like I hated my shoulders, hated my shoulders. In high school, people would make fun of me. I remember I was sitting behind this kid and he was like, ooh, look, her shoulder's so wide. He like did like this, like he was measuring my shoulders. And it was something that I was so self-conscious about. And then, you know, as I grew older, and I guess I'm still, you know, just a tiny bit subconscious about it. It's like certain styles I just feel like don't look good on me. Or no, I guess not. I just feel like certain styles just don't look good on broad shoulders. So I feel like I've mastered like what I look and feel good in and makes me feel confident in my body. But also just telling myself every day, like, you the shit. Like, period. Like, literally just looking at myself naked in the mirror and just literally falling in love with myself day by day. Literally just just that but also i like to say i'm a narcissist empath <laughs> um just being real like i do love myself a lot i'm not gonna hold you but i'm also very empathetic very very empathetic but i guess it's narcissist our narcissist has no empathy but i mean when i tell y'all i love myself i love myself like i love i just yeah anyway i'm obsessed but yeah that was just i guess on my heart to say um and I've gotten questions too of people being like, you know, how are you so, or how did I become so comfortable and confident in who I am? And it's just been a constant, again, just repetition of positive affirmations. And also, you know, I guess to my foundation a little bit, just having my dad always be the one to tell me that I was beautiful, you know, especially being a dark skinned little girl and the music during that time was like red bone is bad bone red bone nikki island mama you know all that was the music so to hear my dad tell me that like all the time like man you are beautiful like your skin is beautiful you you know that really helped too so but also it wasn't all all good because i also had family members in my life that was like get your ugly black self over here you know so I, I had best of both worlds, I guess. So I always, I, I always grew up, I grew up still very insecure, and I'm still a little bit fearful and a little bit, I'm still a little bit insecure, and and therefore that makes me fearful to like do some things or you know, I don't know what I'm trying to say here. I don't know why I'm trying to get so deep with y'all. Y'all ain't asking me to get this deep. So yeah, I was at Soho and I just wanted a little tank top y'all and I got this little tank top from this brand Nikki Biki, Nikki Biki I guess. It's an LA based brand and made in USA. And it's, I think it's a store that carry like multiple brands if I'm not mistaken, I'm not sure. But I know they LA based. It sticks out like a sore thumb too I feel like in Soho cause it is so LA looking. Um, even with like the people that work there, like they all look like Cali people, so. It's a vibe. Anyway, I went in there because I seen this little tank top, but it said one size fit all. So I had to try it on. Also, what I had in mind was to wear it with my Dries skirt. <sighs> this skirt right here. But I don't know, can y'all see that? To me, it don't go. Kind of like, oh, it looks good together. Let me try it on for y'all so y'all can see. All right, so this is what the little top look like. It's so cute, y'all. With me being like so little, I want, I always want tank tops that fit tight like this because it's hard for me to find tank tops that fit like this they always be a little bit big for me so when i tried this on i was like yes period and this is also something that i feel like complements my shoulders for instance that's what i was saying like one shoulder straps like little thin little straps yeah and then yeah i was gonna pair with this little skirt this little dree skirt but i don't really feel like it goes i know it don't go 
You know why? Because I feel it. <laughs> I don't know. I just feel like the top kind of is like a little bit too American apparel for this skirt. <laughs> if that make any sense. See, the best part about life and the best part about doing stuff is it inspires you. Because I'm just, you know, I had this little top on because I was showing y'all this little top, but then I just threw it on with my little joggers. Then I had my little Margiela Ballerina little flats here. I'm like, hold on, why is this little throw it on? Why does a cute little throw it on little outfit, y'all? <laughs> I'm like, this is kind of cute. This is kind of cute. And then I grabbed my little hoodie. It's giving, oh my gosh. You know, let me go walk Dasha real quick or, you know, going to go get coffee real quick and it's cold, you know, in a little area. Also, you know, they look big on me, so I wrote it down. But I feel like this is a little cute little vibe. Okay, with a little top. I don't know. Let me know what y'all think. I could be tweaking. Y'all probably like, Sierra, that don't look good. Because I feel like I'm not a Cali girl. And I told y'all this like a Cali vibe. Definitely from Chicago. So I feel like, and also I'm me and I want to add my little quirk into it too. So I'm going to throw on a Cali girl top with a little tabby. Okay. Keep it cute and chic. Yeah. So I feel like definitely after trying this top on with more casual things, I'm like, this is probably more of a casual type of a vibe. Like I feel like I feel more comfortable wearing this more casually. So unfortunately I have to still find a shirt to go with this Ladris top. But I love this little shirt and I would definitely say if you're looking for a little tank tops, you should check out the brand. I feel like they were all cute in there and super helpful. Anyways, y'all, I think I am going to end the vlog here. I hope you have loved spending the day with me. I've loved having you guys spend the day with me. Be sure to give this video a like. Sometimes I be feeling self-conscious about my armpit hair, but then sometimes I'm like, free! But anyway, I love you guys. Thumbs it up. Comment down below. Peace.